with the loss of our beloveds too, yeah. I, I I have to tell the Transformers convention tale. Oh yes. Transformers was one of the nightmares of all times because they took a lot of the characters that were dearly beloved and then they shipped them up to Canada where it's cheaper to yes. produce it and got actors who sounded pretty much like the original actors. Now here's where it got interesting. We're at a Transformers convention sitting at a table, all the VAs and everything. And we're, these are some of the original people from the original Transformers that your mother told you about. <laughs> or him. And uh, we're sitting there having flown for 23 hours, which as you know puts you in a really interesting mood to begin with for quivering. And they turn the lights down after dinner and they proceed to show the thing they're so proud of, the next Transformers project that all of us had been taken oh out of. Oh my god. Oh. If you see a bunch of actors holding each other down because I would say about two thirds of the table wanted to One walk leave. out. Oh yeah. yeah. But yeah. it would have been ungracious. Yeah. <laughs> very, very good to feeling, but ungracious. So. There's a dark side to being professional and that was about as dark as it got. Yeah. Wow. You have never heard a, a table go as quiet as that in your life. Obviously. But this wow. happens to us and sometimes it happens and that was done in all innocence because yeah. the people, well they knew, but they didn't know how it would affect us. They didn't know how deeply it totally. was felt. You get characters like uh, like like his or like like you know Optimus and all that. These are characters people grew up with. Yeah. They don't You see the gods are angry. <laughs> Sacrifice a virgin! <laughs> <laughs> Thou shalt not screw with Transformers. <laughs> Don't 